Now once you've added some text to your page then probably the next thing you want to do is to add a picture. Um, I use the same icon, this pencil icon for um, editing uh, and again this opens up the uh, editing uh, screen. Um, I can position the cursor where I want my picture to appear and then very simply I click insert and from this box that opens up I'm going to choose image. Now in the first instance you'll probably need to upload some images um, in which case you click this button uh, you can find the picture that you want uh, click on it click open and, and it will upload the picture um, I'm going to cancel that and use a picture that I've already uploaded so I'm going to select that one and click OK now you see when it first comes in this is quite a large image um, and obviously it's going to be too big for my screen so I have three options for the size um, I can choose small uh, medium and large I'm going to choose small for this one now if you want to be more precise about this then it's worth spending a little bit of time uh, getting the size of your image right before you upload it um, and remember you're working on a screen so you want to be working on 72 dots per inch not 300 dots per inch which is the normal um, uh, print size that, that you'll want. Once you've got the size that you want that will allow you to um, use these 100% or original buttons which uh, will make the image on your screen the same size as it was when you when you edited it first. Um, a couple of other options uh, I can choose to uh, align my picture uh, center or right I'm going to go for the left um, and I can choose whether I want my text to wrap around the image or not um, this is the button for wrap on this one for wrap off so I'm going to choose wrap on and that will allow me to um, type around the image um, if I'd chosen for the wrap to be off then you'll see it, it will place the text above and below the image so I'm going to choose for it to be on and there we are